What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and we are back. I started to do this <laughs> this intro before I ended up talking about something totally different. I've posted it on the YouTube page. Make sure you go and check it out. Basically, I'm just asking a general question um, just to get a consensus. Decided to make a video about it instead of a poll. Um, it's um, a basic question. What do you prefer? Full reactions or highlights? If you guys would let me know that that would be great so go over there on that video go in the comment section let me know what you think if you want you can listen to the video if you don't it doesn't really matter you already know what the question is go there to the comment section voice your opinion let me know what you would prefer um and this goes to the anime um community over here and also the tv show community doesn't matter all right, so we're going to jump into this episode, episode 12 of Evangelion, man. Um, I've been enjoying this series. Last episode, we got a little bit more of... Uh, we learned a lot about certain characters, you know what I'm saying? Everybody um, about what they would do in a crisis that they, that, they, that they have no control, but they still have to battle an angel, you know? So, so that was great how they decided to to go get into the facility, the three kids, um, the way how they had to get out to go fight. You know what I'm saying? So everything was different. Sinji's dad had to pitch in. So he's not just one of them dudes that just leave everything to everybody. It's obvious he gets involved, but I didn't know he would get his hands that dirty as in getting down there with the with the regular dudes, you know what I'm saying, and helping them out to get the, e the EVAs ready. Um, to go to battle because they they like they didn't know if the kids were gonna show up or not it's like oh we have complete faith in them that they will figure a way to get into this facility so that was great to see so we're gonna jump into this episode man and as we go on as we go on i'm gonna try to do um um evangelion as much as possible uh because we i think we're heading down to to the i think it, yeah we're getting we're getting up there. We're getting up there. We're at episode twelve now. So we're getting up there. Um as soon as I start getting a chance, I'm gonna start doing maybe two or three episodes of Evangelion instead of just one. But before we get there, we're just doing singles right now. I'm sorry guys. But it's it's one of those stories that you kinda have to take your time with too. You can't rush it. Because you want, you do want to understand these characters. And if you rush through it, you might not. It's not one of those animes that you want to binge too much. You get what I'm saying? Like, it just feels like that, that one of those animes that you want to be out every week. Because you want to, you want to digest what happened. You know what I'm saying? You want, you want to digest what happened. Um, so, you know, even though we have access to the entire season now you know what i'm saying like it just feels like one of those animes that you want to just pace yourself with because you want to think about these characters you want to understand the characters and it's not just about because there's really no cliffhangers per se you get what i'm saying so it's good to just soak in what they're trying to teach you in this anime and what you can use for it to be um um you know draw parallels from from it and even real life so I'm looking forward to it. So let's jump into this, man. Episode 12 of Evangelion. Link is down in the description. And I will see you guys back here for the review. Okay? Alright, guys. What's going on? It's your boy, Terry by Reacts. We are back for the review of Evangelion. Evangelion episode 12 okay and it was a good one it was a very good one um didn't really get great until the end of course um Shinji getting validation from his dad that's big that's big in the story that's huge to me I did not expect it really really surprised me and the way how Shinji felt about it really surprised me too so let's talk about it man in in beginning of the episode they went back in time 15 years ago to what happened to misato and her dad um which is she was she was saved 
from the second impact, which is nuts. And that's what drove her to join Nerve, right? Join her to, to join Nerve or any RV. Um, so that's even more insight in the type of person that she is. Um, she was thinking maybe she wanted revenge on her dad because her dad was basically from how she describes it. You can say he's a deadbeat, but not really. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, seems like he used to treat the mom like kind of shitty, but in the end he ended up saving her life. You know, because he couldn't get into the pod with her, as you can see from the flashback. So he couldn't get in the pod with her. So he basically died and she was saved um, from a second impact. So in this episode, we have an angel appearing in space, interrupted all communications. It kind of took the shape of a satellite, um, interrupted all communications, um, not power, just communication. So like any radars and stuff like that, anything like that was down. So they couldn't even contact um, Ikari, which was in, um, which they were in the South Pole. I'm dying to know more about all these places because it's basically like they're calling it like the dead area or the dead sea or whatever. This is like no life is there. I don't know if that's where the second impact took place, but it was just, I'm dying to know more about this universe that they're living in because it's so interesting. It's just like, what caused the second impact? Was it the angel blowing up? They, st we still, I still don't know clearly what happened in the second impact. It just keep talking about it. It kind of reminds me how nagging it was when they kept talking about Madara and Hashirama in Naruto. It's the same. It's, it just nags at your brain because you really want to know why are these angels so freaking OP and why do they keep coming and why do they appear one by one? You get what I'm saying? So, um, that's another mystery too. Like, why don't they just send an army? You know what I'm saying? They would have an issue with that. They would definitely have an issue dealing with an army of angels. Or why do they only appear one by one? That's another big question. So I'm dying to know more about this universe, of course, and that's why this anime is so much more, um, there's so much to it that I love, you know what I'm saying? And then you have these awesome characters that we're getting to know in the earlier parts of the season. So, you know, well, we find out that Ray doesn't like me. That's not an information that we found out about her. That is pretty cool. And in the end, after they defeated the angel, um, no, let's talk about the angel battle first. Basically, the angel was dropping bombs from space, dropping bombs and trying to figure out where land is. So they were dropping bombs, but they kept missing. So they were trying to figure out where where maybe the nerve center is or where the city is so they can drop themselves as a bomb because anything coming out of space can basically considered a bomb. You get what I'm saying? The impact is huge. You get what you get what I mean like and the speed at which stuff comes from out of space with um it's just absolutely nuts. So for the EVAs to even stop it in its tracks, one EVA stopped it in its tracks with the AT with their AT field. So that that was pretty cool to see. That's why I'm like these EVAs are OP. No matter how you look at it, because they're already tanking nukes. So I'm definitely understanding the lengths. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That the the, the I want to know what the hell these EVAs are made out of, man. They're crazy strong, crazy OP. So I'm definitely trying to figure out what the hell they're made out of. But at the same time, it's got to be some sort of rare metal because um, it's just crazy to see them work, but it, it took three of them. They opened it up. They slowed it down and they opened it up. Boom, hit it in the eye, killed it, but it blew up anyways, left a huge crater there. And Shinji's EVA got, um, got messed up um, because he took the brunt of it. He took the brunt of it, um, but thank God he was okay. So, so, um, Misato had promised them. I like the fact that she told them, listen, you do not have to do this. 
this is me making a executive decision for this mission but you have a choice you don't have to do this if you don't want to do it because essentially all three of you guys can die you know so you have you know you can prepare your wills if you want you know and stuff like that so the, all three of them decided to do it of course we know ray is going to do it if the other two don't so all three of them decided to go thank god none of them got hurt so that was pretty dope too and then in the in the end they um got the dad they finally got contact back with Shinji's dad and he congratulated her and was like she was trying to apologize to them is like oh because of my miscalculations the EVA got hurt um it, no they not hurt but you know got damaged um and they were like don't worry about it like you made a great decision you know that's what the EVAs are made for in the first place they're made to fight the angels so don't worry about it um which is very true um and also him con telling Shinji great job you know what I'm saying so that meant a lot to Shinji um and then when he went to the restaurant he basically said that that's the reason why he's doing this so that's huge that's absolutely very impactful, very huge for the series going forward because now he understands why he's pushing himself to, to even do this. Now he understands why he climbs into the, the EVA is just for that approval, which is awesome. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is awesome. You're doing something. You don't know exactly why because maybe you couldn't put it into words until it actually happens and you can be like, oh, that's why I've been doing this. That's the reason why I've been doing this. Just to hear those words, man. Because I can understand where he's coming from, man. Because he's never gotten he's never gotten um words of affirmation from his dad or anything like that. It was just like it's just so cold. Their relationship. You know, so that was pretty cool to see. Even though it was kind of indirect how he said it. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't like, son, you did great. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was more like him telling a soldier that he did great but for Shinji it meant hey man I don't care how I get it but the dad my dad told me great job that's awesome you know what I'm saying so that was pretty cool I like the fact that they chose to go to a ramen restaurant because um because Ray doesn't eat meat so that was pretty cool of um of Asuka that was that was really cool of of her to decide to go to someplace different so her character she's she likes them she does like the the two of them it's just that she has to be the the um the alpha you know what i mean she has to be the alpha girl so definitely definitely i i i like her character but she, as i've said before she's also a bitch so you can't you can't like f with her you can't f with her so it, it's like so i dig her character a lot they fit very well together but they have three completely different personalities. So that's pretty dope about the show. Um, learning more about Masato's character was pretty cool too. I liked it. Um, and also, um, as I said, I don't like the dude that she's hung up on. That, I, that you know, he's a player. He a player player. You know what I mean? So I don't like him. <laughs> okay, I don't like him. Um, because, you know, he plays with women's hearts. And I really don't like dudes that do that because then they just, they really mess it up for everybody else. You know what I mean? They just mess it up for everybody else. Um, they make, they, because of this, they call women, this causes women to put up walls that, that you as an individual that's trying to talk to the girl after the fact, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's harder. It's harder. It just makes, you know, the other guys jobs harder to approach women because you know what I mean so you get what I'm saying so definitely this episode was pretty cool man I liked it so thank you guys for watching as always it's your boy Terry by reacts just remember guys to like subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet more Evangelion to come thank you guys for watching as always make sure you leave a comment in the comment section tell me what you think of this episode this episode was really really good um, way better than the last episode. Um, not that the last episode was bad, but there was no real, 
there was no there was no real there was story development in the last episode but this one was just way better it was just like they took it up uh like two three notches for this episode so definitely i loved it um more than the last episode so thank you guys for watching it's your boy terabyte reacts and peace